Hello and welcome to the Patreon exclusive edition of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Brian Seymour. And we are about to spoil Hardcore number one. Um, the newest hotness from Skybound. Dude, so I didn't know, right? Mm -hmm. Like this wasn't something that was like heavy in my radar. It was just like yep. a new number one. Let me try it. Let me let me pick it up. Yep. Um, Andy Diggle, name I trust. Yeah, great, I mean, great writer. Huge run. Uh, Alessandro Vitti. I'm loving. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm yep. a new fan, right? You open it up, and it's like hardcore created by Robert Kirkman and Mark Silvestri. Yeah. And you're like, in terms of like voices, these are two image partners. Yeah. One a founder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like, give it a shot. Wait. You know, what is this? Yeah. Next byline uh, story is by Kirkman and Diggle. Mm -hmm. And then the mm -hmm. script is by Diggle. Right. So... This has a lot of win yeah. to it, like flat out a lot yeah. of win. Um, we start off with uh, a boardroom, we'll, we'll call yeah. it. You know, uh, it looks very CEO-ish mm -hmm. until you read this first line. Yes. The There's it, it, Yeah. <laughs> it's not TPS reports. Yeah, no, no, projections. No, 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 no. The warhead is in route. Wait. Like, there is, no, okay, this is an interesting thing here. Yeah. Is there any other relevance of the term warhead that does not imply missile. Uh, maybe a professional wrestler I'm not aware okay, of. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, okay. It's, it's pretty much right out of the gate. You're like, these are not good people. No, 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 no. No, because no businessmen in suits ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of them look military, yeah. you know? Like, there's not, like, a uniform. Yeah. Uh, the guy that's speaking first and foremost is leaning over a table quite menacingly yeah. with two of the largest bodyguards... Mm -hmm. Behind him. Like, dude yeah. is obviously a mega boss. Flat out. Yeah. Um, the other ne'er-do-wells sitting at the table don't look slouchy either. It, no, except that weird, like, well, that dude's mustache says he could whoop someone's ass. I mean, it, it definitely, I mean, that's a, he, he combs that Yeah, that is, a, that is a, that is a, a substantial mustache. The only, the only weak person here, uh, we quickly find out, is this head guy's brother, yeah. Emil. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Emil looks very, very squishy, yeah, both physically and emotionally. Yeah, because he's slouched, like worse than my slouch. <laughs> like, like it's, it's. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Um, so this guy's like, you know, I mean, he's talking hardcore. Yeah. We're about to go to war. We're gonna show everybody else how we yeah. do it. Emil, tell them how we're gonna do this. Yeah. My little brother's gonna break it down. Yeah. And Emil says, uh, very meekly. Yeah. Like, I was so like, where is this going? Yeah. Like, can you help me out? My back's gone out. And, and I, I was like, dude, you're just sitting in a chair. Yeah. Your back went out from sitting in a chair? Like, that's... You know, he's planning war here, and it, I don't yeah. know if you're going to make it. So, this uh, hardcore killer guy. Yeah. Do we ever find out his name? Uh, Other than mean guy? It's from the, what, the Sokolov family? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if yeah. we. I'm sure we do later. <laughs> it doesn't. We must. We must later. I don't know that it matters. It, it really doesn't. Um, so he whispers some words of inspiration to Emil. Don't um, f this up for me, you, you drunken drunk pig. pig. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> Emil whispers back. Right now, that's the least of your concerns. I was like, that seems kind of thready. It, yeah. Super thready. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Emil swipes up with a freaking blade. Yeah. Where did this come from? Yeah. What? And misses. Like, he was going for the throat. Yeah, straight up going for the throat. Um, we've got this caption that exclaims, too slow, yeah. miss the jugular. Yeah. Like, that doesn't... That's, like, from, from what a little I know about him. Yeah, know. this does not seem to be it, his it, M.O. Yeah. I can see him saying, you know, oh, I dropped my pen in the toilet again, yeah. you know, along with my sandwich. Yeah. Like, that's who this guy is. Yeah. Not, I'm taking a swipe. It, it, yeah. So his brother is like, you try to kill me in front of my soldiers? Yeah. You try to kill your own brother? Yeah, because it's a boardroom filled with people. Dude, like, that's the best part. Yeah. Like, this is this is going down in probably the most evil business cordial <laughs> environment ever. Yeah. He's laying down plans, and all of a sudden his brother tries to, like, it, slice yeah. his throat. Um, dude is like, no, nah, he's mine. I got it. And they start fighting. Yeah. And then the biggest clue... Is dropped. Yeah, because Emil is his fighting technique is not like like it's 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 polished. It's it's, it's real. He's he's going. Yeah. He's making moves. And then 
We get this caption that yeah. says, this body's useless. What? Wait a minute. This body? Like, it's not my body? It, yeah. Not or, I? Or is it, like, like a third person kind of thing? Right? Like, like, I, I, um, like I've, I've come to the point where I'm going to kill my brother, and I've just realized I'm out of shape. Right. Like, I need you to realize these things, like, before that morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I've been training, yeah. like, the whole time. But all the three the three people that came up with the story, there's no way that that would be exactly. what's going on. So then all of a sudden, Emil yells out, kill pain receptors, shut it down. Yeah. What? This is getting deeper. It, yeah. Because I can't say that, and then... And then all of a sudden, my body does this. It, yeah. Uh, he comments on the lack of mobility yes. of this guy. Um. But all of a sudden, Emil is truly a fighting powerhouse. Yeah. No two ways about Bust it. Busts that dude's knees. Yeah. Throws a knife through some dude's forehead. While the dude is shooting blaka, blaka, blaka yeah. at him. And then the full picture is exposed. Yeah. We see this agent in this suit of it, sorts. Yeah, like some kind of virtual reality control yeah. station, kind of like in, in like from Pacific Rim. I was just about to say that. It, yeah. Yes. And he is piloting Emil. Now, at first, for a second, I'm like, is he in Emil? Like, what is... Oh, I mean, yeah. he's a big guy. Yeah. He's a big I mean, guy. So, I question. But then we get a control room that yep. shows that there are other techs that are monitoring this situation. Yeah. So, this guy is remotely piloting yeah this guy's body which there's so oh yeah because there's so much you can do with that it's so cool um so the room has guns drawn everybody's like yeah. ready to to murder emil emil's got a guy that he's holding uh as the as the guard here yeah. um and he's ready yeah. he's ready to to clear the room but specifically take out the head guy yeah now this is the part that i was like oh this is cool because this would view so well on on tv yes it would emil finally has the head guy in sight mm -hmm. is going to try to shoot him and his hands not responding yeah. why because he's been shot in the arm yeah in the forearm muscle has been rendered yeah. and he, he couldn't feel he it. couldn't feel it because he had him turn off the pain receptors yeah this is why pain is important okay it lets you know it lets you know something's wrong yeah. if you don't have the pain you don't know when something's yeah. wrong but he's ingenious He's, this is actually a really oh, genius way to it do it. It really is. So um, he's obviously going to try to fight his way out of this, yeah. um, despite the fact that he is grossly overweight, yeah. very slow. He's compensating. He's doing his best. Yeah. Uh, as his uh, his tech support is really not helping him. It, 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 yeah. They're, they're judging him quite a bit, you yeah. know, saying how this guy's blood pressure is really high. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a little critical in the cardio. Yeah, he could have uh, one of them uh, yeah. heart attacks. Little, little, little things. And he's yeah. like... Uh, who chose this body? Okay, <laughs> right. I did not choose this. You guys did. So yeah, I mean, that, that's another set of questions. Like, right? how did he end up? To, like, is it quantum leap style? You didn't have a choice. What is this? Yeah. You know. Um, all of a sudden, while taking gunfire, yeah, Emil rushes headlong towards his brother mm -hmm. and straight nose tackles him. Yeah, out the window. Yeah, they're both. It, it's a very long fall. Uh, yeah, it's many. It's like ten floors more than you need. No, just yeah, no, that's become gelatin. Yeah, that's uh, a <laughs> that's a skyscraper, yeah. and uh, they are very close to the top floor. Yeah. There might be like one floor above them. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> they're just they're falling. Oh my god! And this is the best part. So yeah. <laughs> this guy disconnects. <laughs> <laughs> poor Emil. Poor Emil. He doesn't know. He does not know. All of a sudden, he wakes up. He goes, "What? Where? I'm... No!" <laughs> <laughs> that would suck so bad, dude. Because like. You're not there, and then all of a sudden, I'm falling. No, no. I'm gonna tell you what makes this so bad. Because Emil just lived his best life. He, he was like the most athletic, killer type person that he's ever been, and he missed all of it. Yeah. Like he was not present for the most kick-ass moments of his life. And, and he wakes up. Now he's just gonna stay in a sidewalk. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> oh man. Oh, poor Don't Emil. be an arms dealer, okay? Yeah, like just listen. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, Agent Drake, we are truly introduced to as he is disengaged from this program, this protocol, and uh, is able to step out of this uh, capsule. Yeah. And we are, are shown that he was not quite happy with the way that this broke no, down. He's got uh, some, uh, some colorful language to describe exactly yeah, how yeah. each thing went wrong along yeah, the way. Yeah, it's not fun. Um, but, of course, now's not the time for him to be so very critical. Yeah. Why? 
because there's somebody there uh, that's yeah. going to be doing a, a funding checkup. Yeah, yeah, a little audit to see uh, yeah. where the money should go. Should it stay <laughs> here? And uh, Drake, of course, in true, you know, super spy fashion, yeah. tries to turn up the charm. I mean, he's got his shirt off. Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah, go he's... for it. What's up? How you doing? It uh, doesn't seem to work, though. Right. Not quite. Although, she doesn't seem totally off. Yeah. She's like, look, it's not going to help you on the numbers, but, but, you know, you take a shower. Wink, wink, nudge, yeah. nudge. Call me later. Yeah. You know, call me maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so, we are introduced to what this whole yeah. operation is about. And this is actually an incredibly awesome concept. Yes. And I don't, at some point in the future, I totally can see something like this happening. Oh, listen, there are certain times where fiction is not anywhere close to how strange it should be. Yeah. Like, I feel like some level of this is absolutely real. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, essentially, what they have mm -hmm. is a drone program. Yeah. Uh, they're calling it telepresence, uh -huh. where through use of, of nanotech, they can inject a person yeah. with a receiver uh -huh. that they can project themselves into. Yeah. And then you kind of take over and, and you become an Emil meat suit and yes. you're piloting a meal like, <laughs> like a drone. Oh my God. This is so oh. brilliant. This is so brilliant. Um, the goal of this, of course, is to maximize the... Uh, covert operations mm -hmm. effort yep. um, with little collateral damage. Yeah, because you get in with all the abilities that the person has to, to get behind the line. Right. Uh, you can get out without actually leaving. Right, because in most cases, the person is immediately es executed, yeah. which is why they take the time to try to find a suitable host that yeah. is already a pretty bad criminal. Yeah, and with the nanotech, it only lasts, what, 72 hours 72 before hours. it degrades, and then it can't be traced. Right, so... Uh, in the in the aspect it's, of an autopsy, they're free and clear. Yeah. Like as far as covert operations go, this is brilliant. Wow. Yeah. Like the only thing that's better than this is like, oh, we time travel. That's the only thing yeah. that's better. Like, yeah. Because sure. this is this is perfect. However, however, uh, much in the same way as the Matrix, mm -hmm. should you die while wearing someone else's meat body, uh, you hemorrhage in your brain yep. a little aneuristic yep. sort of thing. That's not. It's not good. Yeah. And if that thing biodegrades while you're in there, also bad for you. Yeah. Uh, you're essentially a vegetable yeah. at best. At yeah. Best. So those are the two things that suck. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, look, when you're operating, when this is your job, you work on the clock. Uh -huh. So boom, you know, 72 hours, that's like a high end job. You know, most people work 40 hours a week. You do 72. Yeah. That works. I think also, too, like if long term, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. create bodies mm -hmm. specific to tasks mm. and like clone them and replicate them mm. jump in do what you need to and if something happens to that body you dip out create another one that's like death -like. right oh my gosh yeah there's so much that can be done with this yeah it's, it's, it's brilliant yeah. um so agent drake uh comes home he's carrying two bags of groceries yep. he leaves one uh by a neighbor's door yeah and we see that this you know hardcore mercenary killer yeah kind of has a heart of gold yeah it's this little old lady uh, her son won't do anything to help her as yeah. we, contextually we figure out and he's just hooking her up and it's just like he's super like good soft dude. I mean he's like good but dude, he man. just got done killing murdering people yeah. like he literally felt the best way to kill an arms dealer was to use his little brother to push him out the window yeah but he bought a lady some groceries yeah kindness is a scale yeah you know it's yeah. a spectrum if you will um, while he doesn't live in the most lavish of places yeah. His security, uh, to the pedestrian eye, is pretty high tech. Yeah. You know, it's pretty, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, mini locks. Yes. And substantial yeah. locks. Yeah. Um, they don't do a whole lot, though. It, yeah, because there's someone sitting in his pad. Yeah, this guy, Marcus, yeah. um, very judging, man. Look, I used to come to my crib and just be yeah. talking about my house. Yeah. It's look, like, I live alone. It can look however it wants to. It's my house. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a douchey move, Marcus. You should... Clean that table off. Though. It, it yeah, it is. Real, it is pretty bachelor. It's a little nasty. A little nasty. Um, but we find out that Marcus was the brains behind yeah, this program. Came up with this concept. But he seemed to have uh, got bounced at some point. Yes. Something about his psych evaluations not being up to snuff. Pretty much. Um, it looks like with a program like this, and I think this is very interesting, mm -hmm. even though you are the mind behind it, it doesn't yeah. mean that you're necessarily the most proficient person to use right. it. Right. 
And it kind of takes me back to uh, Marvel Comics and Captain America mm-hmm. where Dr. Erskine creates the super soldier serum, yeah. but he doesn't take it himself. Yeah. He knows, like, he's not the right person. Yeah. Steve Rogers, of course, excellent. Yeah. Prime example. Um, and, and here this guy, Marcus, is very, very adamant that, like, yeah. it was stolen from him. Yeah. It was pushed out. I'd like to think that he got a nice severance check, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's got an expensive haircut. I mean, but he's really kind of, kind of. He's upset. Yeah, you know, he needs to see a colonic or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he says, you know, straight up that you know it was a roll of dice that you know Drake was lucky. Yeah. to be able to do this, and he specifically uh, mentions a well-developed corpus callosum, which I'm gonna have to look up. Yeah, I definitely gotta look that up. I don't know yeah. what that is, but it's gotta be something of the brain. Yeah, I would think. I would hope. Yeah, and by stating this, it's like this is the thing that. Allow Drake to to be favorable yeah. as opposed to Marcus. Yeah, and Marcus clearly has an issue with it. Yeah. Um, what I love is that they, for the most part, have a civil conversation. Yeah. Marcus is definitely you know raw about it. Uh, yeah. And Drake seems not so moved until you you see that Drake's had a gun pulled the entire time. Yeah. Like under the table, just in case Marcus wants to jump. Yeah. He's ready to fire back and let some yeah. things happen. Um, the very next day, we've got Drake back in mm-hmm. action, waking up in a new body. And this body looks a little bit more useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he likes it. Yeah. You know, he gives it a quick once-over. Check it out. Oh, me likey, me likey. And uh, what he finds, though, is the person that he's waking up in um, seems to be uh, General... Uh, case. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's the that's the head guy. This is his second in command, mm-hmm. who is sleeping with General Vasquez's wife. Yeah. Well, I'm pre- because I'm pretty sure that's his wife. Yeah, yeah, that's General so, Vasquez's wife, and that's and that's not General Vasquez. I don't. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty, that's not. Yeah, there's General Vasquez at all. Um, so obviously a minor complication. Yeah, we'll could, say could make make the story a little bit difficult to, you know, to maneuver around. It's not where he expected to wake up per yeah. se. The whole nine. Um, and then things escalate. Okay, true or false? This is the same lady that mm-hmm. was doing the audits earlier. I think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. All of a sudden, audit lady is in mission control room, just shooting people, blasting them. Bow, 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 bow. All the texts, headshots across the board. Yeah. Any pleas for mercy ignored. Yeah. Right. Um, one guy uh, is like struggling near death, manages to do a lockout, yeah. palm print lockout of the actual capsule. Yeah. Where Agent Drake is. Yeah, so nobody can get in. Yeah, nobody can get in. Presumably he can't get out, yeah. but nobody can get in, and yeah. that's the key piece there. Um, the thing is, Drake is, he can hear all the gunshots. He knows what's going, he knows something, something is Something is wrong, right? And that's the brilliant part, yeah. like the the dual connectivity. Yeah. Can you imagine what that takes in terms of concentration? He has to be where the meat body is yeah. and hear the other? Yeah. Woo. Ooh, that's got to be tough. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like meat body. <laughs> I mean, meat it's, puppet, meat body. Yeah. It sounds funny. Um, and here we go. Marcus comes in yeah. and clearly is the orchestrator of all yeah. this chaos and carnage. He knows it's all been like yeah, that, that's he, he's been he's the mastermind. He knows how this works. It's kind of uh, he's brutal yeah. in in the way that. Uh, Miss Price, as he sees it, yeah. uh, failed because Drake is still alive yeah. and, and locked into this space. Yeah. And so he, he's he, going to shoot her in the oh, he does. freaking dome. Oh, he definitely does because he's rude there. Um, but, okay, so Marcus breaks it down. He's uh-huh. like, look, here's the situation. If you come out, mm-hmm. I'm going to kill you with my bare hands. Yes. You're obviously unarmed in there. Yeah. Despite all the skill sets that you have. You're, you're still... I've got a gun, you don't. Yeah. Nothing, Bottom line. Nothing you can get around that. Um, if you stay in your host body for more than 72 hours, yeah. the nano piece degrades, yeah. and You'll you die. have a cerebral aneurysm. Yeah, which will kill you. Which will kill you. Um, either way, if I just sit here and chill, essentially. He wins. I win. It's so happened. There's no way for him to lose. Basically, what's, what's crazy is that, you know, institutions like Grubhub, you know, Uber Eats, mm-hmm will ultimately kill Agent Drake because dude doesn't even have to leave to go get food. Right. He can just have it brought to him. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, Marcus wins. Right. Like and he can watch the biometrics of Drake He knows. Dying. He knows. Like and that's that's crazy. Um so then all of a sudden uh the young lady wakes up yep. and she says, Esteban, 
are you there? I heard voices. Esteban, mm-hmm. what's wrong? And clearly this guy, Esteban, yeah. who we're being introduced to, yeah. uh, says, we have 72 hours to save my life. Which is amazing. The clock starts now. That's the only thing this is missing. Yeah. Oh, my God. If this had a spawn right. clock. Right. clock ah! 72 hours. That would have been hours. Yeah. brilliant. Awesome. I'm not saying that I'm a good writer, but That's, that would have been good. That would have been really good. Yeah, because it's a clock. There's three days. Yeah, he's he's yeah. got three days like, to Literally get... three days from wherever he is. <laughs> That's awesome. This was this was fun. Yeah, this amazingly fun. Hardcore. I mean, pick a pick a '80s movie that's over the top. Yeah. Action, exactly. death, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is this is it, man. I it's, can't wait. It's, wow. it's so much so much fun. I underordered it. I know I did. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to yeah. try to reorder it. Um, but yeah, this is just this. Okay, what this does though, mm-hmm. I'll tell you for real. This okay. I have a series that I'm working on called Criterion. I did a, a YouTube pitch. If you dare, you can look it up on YouTube. You can actually find it. Um, Criterion, C R Y T E R. Yeah, it's this whole thing. But I now know for a fact that Criterion mm-hmm. can work as a comic because this is in existence. Yes. So, wow, this is awesome. I might I might have to hit up like Valentino and be like, hey, you know how Mark and and Robert are doing this book. You want to compete with him? You want to you want to battle? Let's eh, do it. Eh? Let's let's. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, you got to order some more of these. Yeah, this, this is, is awesome. it was so much fun. So this much fun. Awesome. If this is not an Amazon project to come, somebody's failed. Somebody's getting meat puppeted for real. <laughs> meat body, meat body, meat bodied soup is gonna <sighs> happen. Um, yeah, this is brilliant. Yeah. Dan Panison on the uh, on the uh, cover here, man, is dope. Oh yeah, this, this is really, is really just dope. a win win all the way through. I enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, pick it up. Mm. As always, thank you guys for being our Patreon members. We thoroughly appreciate all your support. Yes. Make sure you tell everyone mm-hmm. uh, and definitely subscribe to the other channel. I'm sure you should be. Yeah, because probably. If are. you're a Patreon member and not subscribe to the other channel, that's that's a, that's yeah. a level of cool. That's, I don't even know. Yeah. If you could have got it for free. You're but willing you're, to put in. You're awesome. You're the real MVP. You are. Like, love you. That's real. But subscribe too because yeah. we it's like you. other stuff. Yeah. We got all kinds of good stuff. Over there. Yeah. 